Hello, my name is Guy Coughlin. I'm a chartered physiotherapist here at Horda Healthcare. Today I'm going to talk to you about lower back pain. This video is going to focus on simple lower back pain. That means that you do not have any leg pain or altered sensation such as numbness or pins and needles. You also do not have a specific back condition like a herniated disc and your back pain does not severely affect your day-to-day -day activities. If you do have any of these symptoms, then you should consult your GP as soon as possible. Low back pain is very common, with over 84% of people experiencing simple low back pain at some point in their lives. For most people, it will resolve rapidly within four to six weeks. The best advice in these stages is to stay as active as possible. Take simple over-the-counter painkillers, avoid strenuous activity, but at the same time avoid complete bed rest. The following video will include some exercises to show you how to best manage your low back pain in these early stages. With all of these exercises, you should avoid pain and reproducing your symptoms. However, a low level of discomfort may be experienced or a stretching sensation. In terms of how many exercises you could do, there's no specific recommendation. Some exercises are mobility exercises and designed to improve your movement and you'll be looking to repeat those several times. Other exercises are focusing on stretching tight and stiff tissues. You'd be looking to repeat those less times but hold those for a longer duration. People often ask as well, when should I do these exercises? Ideally, you should do these regularly throughout the day. But this also may depend on when you get your pain or stiffness. For example, a lot of people find doing these exercises in the shower in the morning really helps them at the start of their day. This then can become part of your daily routine and be as automatic as brushing your teeth. In terms of which exercises to do, a lot of people benefit from doing all the exercises together. However, you may find that some exercises ease your symptoms more than others. There's no problem in doing these exercises and focusing particularly on the exercises that ease your symptoms. With all the exercises, however, you should look to support your back by gently pulling your tummy in, as if you were putting in a tight pair of trousers on. I'm now gonna talk about floor exercises. A lot of people find that doing a five minute exercise routine at the start of the day helps ease their symptoms. These exercises are easier to do than standing exercises as the joints in the back are offloaded. You should look to do this on a firm surface and a yoga mat on a floor is ideal, but equally a well carpeted floor. If you find it difficult to get onto the floor, you can do these exercises on a firm mattress on a bed. We're now going to demonstrate some floor exercises. Claire, who works here at Order Healthcare, has kindly volunteered to help me do this. The first exercise that we're going to demonstrate is a prayer stretch. With the prayer stretch, you should start on your hands and knees. Gently sit back towards your heels, pushing your hands forward and dropping your head. You should experience a stretching sensation across the lower back. Again, we're not looking to reproduce pain, just a low level of discomfort. As this is a stretching exercise, you'd look to hold it for about 30 seconds and just repeat two or three times. If you have knee pain, you may find it beneficial to place a pillow underneath your knees and behind your knees. You can then repeat the exercise again and this should ease any pressure onto your knees. If it doesn't, and you still experience knee pain, stop the exercise. The next exercise that we're gonna show you is extension in lying. Here you should start by lying on your front and then push up onto your elbows, but keep your pelvis dropping into the mat. So allow yourself to relax through your pelvis. Again, this is a stretching exercise, so you may wanna hold it for 
a period of seconds, and then take the stretch down. If you don't feel a stretch, you can progress this exercise by pushing up further onto your hands, as Claire's going to demonstrate. You should experience a low level of discomfort into the lower back, and you may also experience stretching sensation across the stomach. If this does reproduce your pain or your symptoms, or you have any symptoms into the lower legs, you should stop the exercise. The next exercise we're going to show you is flexion in lying. With this exercise, we're bringing the knees up to the chest. As Claire's showing you here, hugging one knee into the chest at a time. If your back pain won't allow you to bring your knee up to your chest, you should support the movement with your hands, as Claire's showing you now. To progress this exercise, you can also bring the other knee up to your chest as well. Here we're looking to rock the knees gently into the chest, repeating several times as it's a mobilising exercise. When you finish the exercise, gently lower the legs using your hands if you need to. You can also support the movement through your stomach by gently pulling your tummy in. Again, we're not looking to reproduce pain, just a gentle stretch across the back as you're doing this. If you do reproduce pain, you should stop the exercise. The next exercise is rotation in lying. Again, lying on your back, supporting your head with pillows, knees up but feet still on the floor. Here, it's important to fix your shoulder blades and keep them onto the mat. Support the movement through the stomach. Gently, Claire is going to take her legs to the right only going as far as discomfort will allow, bringing the knees back and repeating towards the left. This again is a mobilising exercise, so you'd look to repeat this several times. Exercises in standing. As your back pain eases, you may find that doing some exercises in standing help you get through your day with exercises in standing, it's important to have a good base of support. That means you should stand with your feet hip width apart. Again, we're only looking to exercise to the point of discomfort, not reproduce pain. And with exercises in standing, it's really important that we support through the stomach by gently pulling the tummy in, as there's a greater load onto the joints into the back as you have to support your body weight. The first exercise in standing is extension or leaning backwards. Here Claire is going to demonstrate the movement while I illustrate what happens at the spine with this model. Standing side on, Claire is going to support her back by placing her hands onto her pelvis. Here, gently leaning back, stretching the back out to the point of discomfort and returning forward. As this is a mobilising exercise, She's going to repeat this several times to ease her symptoms and pain. The next exercise we're going to perform is rotation in standing. Here it's really important to have a wide base of support. So again, hip width apart, pulling your tummy muscles in to support the movement. Claire's going to place her hands across her shoulders slightly bend at the knees, keeping her pelvis facing forwards, turning to the right and turning to the left. Again, only turning to the point of discomfort. The joints in the lower back do not permit a lot of rotation, so don't look to force this exercise too far. And as it's a mobilising exercise, repeat several times. The next exercise is flexion in standing or bending forwards. Here it's again important to have a good base of support. So here Claire's going to put her feet hip width apart, slight bend at the knees, securing the movement through the stomach by gently pulling in her tummy muscles, placing her hands onto her thighs, gently 
she's going to walk down her thighs, bending forwards, only going as far as discomfort allows, and supporting the movement by gently walking backwards and returning to the standing position. Again, you may want to repeat this exercise several times to ease your symptoms. I'm now going to talk about posture and how our daily lives can affect our back pain. Unfortunately, our modern sedentary lifestyle often includes long periods of prolonged posture. Up to two thirds of our day can be spent in the same position, whether this sitting or standing or lying. Have a think about your day. Do you spend a lot of time in a car or at a desk in the same position? Think about changing your position. I'm now going to show you some exercises to show you how to reverse prolonged postures that you may have been in throughout your day. I'm now going to talk about reversing postures and we're going to start with sitting. If you have spent a lot of time in a chair or you've driven a lot lately, you may have spent a lot of time in a slumped or flexed position. An easing position for this would be to lean backwards gently into extension. If you are driving a long distance, don't wait for your back pain. Have regular stops, get out and reverse your posture by using the extension in standing position. When thinking about reversing postures, it's important to think about how you are sitting in a chair. Just because you're sitting in a chair, that does not mean that you're naturally going to be in a flexed or slumped posture. It's very common for people to also overextend when they're sitting in a chair, as Claire is demonstrating. Be aware of your position in the chair, and if this is a position you adopt, it would be useful to regularly flex forward to ease your symptoms. Here, Claire is leaning forward to stretch out her spine and open up the joints at the back. This should ease your symptoms throughout the day. I'm now going to talk about standing postures. If you have a job that involves standing for a large proportion of the day, like shop work, you may spend a long time overextending. It might then ease your back pain to stretch forward and perform the flexion in standing position at regular intervals throughout the day. Standing for a long time does not always mean that you'll be in a prolonged extension position. You may have a job in a kitchen that requires you to lean over a low sink, for example, encouraging a more flexed posture. Think about reversing this posture frequently by using the extension in standing position. To summarise, simple low back pain is very common. However, for most people, it will resolve within four to six weeks. Exercise can help, and you should find the exercises in this video will help ease your pain and stiffness alike. If after six weeks, and having tried these exercises, you still have lower back pain, you should visit your GP or see a physiotherapist. Here, a physiotherapist can help you with an individualised assessment and treatment programme. If you have found this video useful, there is a leaflet that accompanies the video available for download on our website.